my name is Dominique McMillan and I'm a consultant at Child 360. I'll be your host today for Feeling Fridays. I'm super excited because during this quarantine time, we all have a range of emotions that we're feeling and especially our children. So it's important that we create a safe and open environment where they can express those emotions. So we're gonna be doing a Feelings Friday journal with our children. So what that looks like is it's gonna be an opportunity for you to ask your children maybe five to 10 minutes a day how they're feeling and for them to express those feelings on paper. They can either draw something or they can write something or both. There's no right or wrong way. And if your children are young, you can actually dictate it for them, write down what they're saying. And later, when this is all over, you'll be able to look back at that. They'll be able to look back at that and say, oh, this is how I was feeling during this time in 2020 that this happened. So let's jump right into what a feelings journal is. So there's a couple points I wanna cover today. Make sure that you talk about emotions. Identifying and discussing emotions can help a child understand how they're feeling and how others are feeling. Number two, talk about your own feelings and your emotions. Model with your children words that they can use and strategies they can use to express their emotions. And three, help children describe their own feelings. You can do that again through pictures, through words. So let's jump right into what's in our feelings box. This is a feelings box. And in my box, I have a jar with markers, colored pencils or crayons. Here's the journal. And you're gonna give your child an opportunity to write down how they're feeling. So let's say we could start off with happy. How are you feeling? What does happy look like for you? And allow them to draw color, whatever they need to do to write down how they're feeling. And then you can transcribe it for them or you can just also join them. There's no right or wrong way. If you don't have a journal at home, just use some paper, staple it. If you don't have a box, use a shoe box. Don't go out and buy anything. This is just a valuable time for you to get some insight on how they're feeling and how you can help them with their feelings. This is no doubt that this will be an exercise that you'll be able to do with your children all the time, throughout the day, anytime that you feel is a good time to talk about their feelings. So remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. Just have a good time with it enjoy an opportunity to sit down and understand your children a little bit better and how they feel and they get to know how you feel so have fun on feeling fridays doing a feelings journal bye